Hey everybody, it is currently Tuesday at 5 o'clock p.m. I just ate some food, I got a big old cup of coffee sitting next to me, and I'm about to take another crack at this. Uh, last night, after my last recording, I got the explosion sound effects working for uh, the aliens, and I also got the lasers set up with uh, just temporary random timer set up above it. Uh, the... Further away ones, the cheaper ones, have kind of muffled, uh, they're, they're actually technically underwater sound effects, but I'm going to use them because they're going to be a little bit further away, and we'll, we'll see how it works. Uh, this one has a laser, it's up to go between 5 and 10 seconds, randomly, and it has a pretty simple laser that charges up and fires, and it goes out in a straight line until uh, it hits something and then does like a little tiny explosion. And then... These are one of the bigger explosion sounds with the more expensive up close ones and we'll do whip, whip. the big laser with the fancy 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 particle effects. <laughs> I love the little smoky wisp thing. I love wispy smoke. And then at this end you can see it's got like a nice little 3D explosion effect. Um, and that, that'll be the up-close ones that you can see a little bit better. Whoop. Well, that's noted. Um, and they're set up so they don't go off after they're destroyed and all that. Everything's disabled. And they don't, they don't, the lasers don't shoot if the robots aren't out. That's all the kind of crap I have to set up. So, let's go look at some of the logic a little bit. Uh, so, a little, a little brief, uh insight to my my uh, week so far uh, I've gotten about nine hours of sleep in the past three nights combined because I was cramming this weekend to get the map in working shape to submit for the the deadline because uh, I wanted the bulk of the map done and then I wanted to be able to focus on this and a couple little tweaks this week um, and I've been mapping so much that I actually had a mapping dream last night where I was in hammer and I was like manipulating things and uh, I hit snooze on my alarm clock and I actually was like no I need to get back to that and I, I went back to sleep and I kind of slept in this morning a little bit <laughs> so I could map more in my sleep which sucks because that's like progress I didn't actually make um, but I, I wish I didn't have to sleep that would be really nice if I just didn't have to sleep ever I would get so much more done um, but I actually got very excited today at work and spilled my coffee <laughs> which was lame, but I got excited about an idea I had, and that is telefragging. These things are going to be coming into the, the map. Um, I wasn't sure if they were going to be coming into the game space because I wasn't sure how much I wanted them to be able to interact with people, but I thought it would be hilarious if it was possible to get telefragged by them. Um, it's not going to be too easy to do. They're probably still going to be kind of offset places and you know out of the way, um, but I think it would be really funny to see somebody get telefragged by one of these coming in and then just have it standing there. <laughs> and I even I even plan on having them they'll they'll explode with gibbs um like a rocket hit them. <laughs> I think it'd be really funny. Uh but anyway, here's here's my new uh scribbly note for the day. Uh I spilled my coffee on that. <laughs> In fact, if you can see it. Um but it's basically just I was outlining the timers and how that was all going to work and kind of came up with a brief list of what each alien is going to need. Um, because I'm actually kind of worried about my entity usage. If I go overboard with it, um, the map could crash when it's on a server. You have a maximum of 248 entities you can have um, the server running, and then 248 on the client side. And the server side also handles stuff like rockets and uh, pipes and uh, arrows and needles and everything. I, I, maybe not needles, but no, no, that should be. Um, but each one of those is another entity that gets added on. Um, I was kind of adding some things up, and it was already like 320 entities alone just for the particles for these aliens when I make the 32 of them I have planned. So I might have to scale things down a little bit. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I'm going to just see. I'm going to just keep going with it. And I'll see what the entity count is when I get there. And I'll decide if I need to scale it down. The map itself is already kind of fat. 
entity wise. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, what else is there? What what have I been doing? Oh yeah, back to the note. <laughs> um, I've got a couple things that I need to streamline on the maps. There are going to be some regular map changes this week, and I actually am hoping I have enough time to redo the sound effects for the mothership exploding at the end. Because uh, I'm not entirely sure. I, I, I don't know. I don't like how it sounds right now, and I'm just kind of using the in-game sounds and all that. And I want to record the the ship exploding, and then I want to time all the audio and I could just edit that together in like audacity or something like that and use the stock audio clips and everything, but that can, you know, line it up by hand. And I think it'd look, it, you know, not look, it would, I think it would sound really cool. So I might do that. Um, but let's go over these entities here. Uh, these orange boxes are just my buttons. These are my testing stuff. And all these do are triggering, uh, relays, uh, logic relays. And I do this because then all I have to do is replace whatever uh, triggers this, which is going to be a timer, because this is for the teleporters. It activates these. Um, it's whenever, whenever the teleporter goes off. All I have to do is trigger that relay like it was the button. And I do that. Instead of putting all the, the logic in the button, I put it on a relay instead. So let's go to the relay. I think this is, yep, the teleporter relay. So what it's doing... And I, I've got these kind of labeled weird, but they're designed in a way that I understand, and that's all that matters. Because um, it's cheap, or cheapest, cheap, expensive, expensivest. And I have each one the expensivest telly in, which is the particle. Yep, <laughs> I had to double check. Uh, that's saying on trigger, it starts it, starts the particle effect. It enables the model for the alien. It's, uh, it changes the damage filter to blank for the, um, the hell is it called? funk breakable. <laughs> and it enables the timer for the laser to go off. And now the funk breakable is pretty straightforward. I have it set to damage filter, no take damage, which is, like I mentioned in the last video, it's a weapon slot PDA, which means nothing can damage it as long as that filter is activated. And when it teleports in, it changes the filter to nothing. And I do this, like I said, because I can't actually disable this. I can't just have this not here and then enable it as far as I know. I haven't found anything yet. If you guys know of anything by chance, that would be spectacular. That would simplify things a little bit. Um, but basically, this collision is going to be here all the time. And I, I have to figure out something. I have an idea. But most of them probably aren't going to be in a gameplay space. That's It's going to matter too much. Um, but the ones that do, I might... I can parent it, which means like tie it to something that moves. So I think I can do, I can put it on like a funk door and have it move onto the map, <laughs> which, which would actually be really funny. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm starting to ramble and losing my train of thought here. I have this set up. It has 200 strength, meaning 200 damage has to be done to it. Um, doesn't render. There's no gibbs because this, this is the box itself. This is, I basically made a hit box for the alien. The alien has no collision at all. And when it on breaks, it, the pop, it, Walker Expensivist Pop 1 start, that's the entity for the particle effect for it exploding. It kills off the model, it plays the explosion sound, and it disables the laser timer. The laser timer is really super simple here. It is starts disabled, and it's enabled when it, when it teleports in. Uses a random time between 5 and 10 interval. And then all it's doing is triggering this particle, which is the ray gun laser with a fancy explosion, and which just goes out in a straight line. Um, and all this button is doing is breaking the funk breakable. So it's sort of acting like instead of a relay that this button's triggering, it's triggering the break on this, and that is acting as a relay itself. So it's all built right into it, and it kind of saves me another uh, another logic relay on the map. So I'm trying to be as streamlined as I can. Um, it's pretty similar for how all these work. Uh, these ones don't have the hitboxes, so I did end up having to do relays for the explosion animation stuff. I'm kind of hoping to have this very close to completion by tonight. 
and if not by tonight, by tomorrow night, because I would, I have Thursday off from work, and I would really like to spend that time working on the map and doing some of the sound stuff. So it would be really cool if I could get all this set up, or mostly set up by then. So that's kind of the goal. So I'm going to leave this update. This is kind of a rambly long one, I'm sorry. But I'm going to go work on that now, and maybe I'll have a video out tonight or maybe tomorrow after I get out of work. I'll record another one like I did today. If you happen to have any friends who are interested in mapping or would be interested in this, be sure to share the video to them. I'm trying to get this out there a little bit because I think it, it, it'd be really interesting for people. And I kind of feel like it's going to be a bit intimidating to come in on late and see however many parts that it, this ends up being. It's, it's, it's a bigger mini-series than I expected. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next update.